top of the morning friends and fellow traders this is Doug Campbell with right way options and this is the morning market preparation video for April 23rd 2019 so my goodness everyone today is all about the earnings market has has been really really pensive here we've just been all tied up trying to figure out what to do with ourselves waiting on uh, a big round of earnings that begins today second quarter earnings really begin to heat up today and they just get hotter on a Wednesday and Thursday so we have a lot of earnings reports coming out and the market is trying to figure out what that's going to look like what that means as we know um, we've had lots and lots of conversation about um, global market slowdown and um, if you saw the reports a couple weeks ago um, analysts were kind of in a rush to lower targets um, on um, earnings reports expecting companies to uh, struggle um, a little bit this quarter well uh, now we're going to start finding that information out so far they've held up pretty well they've done pretty well but now we have to see as we hit this glut of, of earnings reports how the market is going to respond uh, first off um, it, it also appears that um, markets around the world are kind of waiting to see what we what happens here. Um, we had Asian markets that closed mostly lower last night, kind of mixed. They were also reacting to higher oil prices. Asian markets also mixed this morning, really subdued, uh, waiting for this deluge of of earnings reports this morning. So first thing this morning, all of the U.S. futures were looking lower. Now suddenly we have uh, Dow futures perking higher here um, at the moment where they're showing a, a, a rally of 41 points while the ES and the NASDAQ continue to remain flat to just a little bit lower. Just can't quite seem to get the traction that the Dow is. You know, the Dow is easily pumped. And one of the things that could be helping is we had earnings results out of PNG that were a little bit better than expected. But notice what's happened here. They have also drifted lower. Twitter has already come out this morning and Twitter reported very well, very strongly, and they're gapping substantially higher this morning. So here we go. We've got this back and forth going on and we're probably going to see any company that disappoints and they didn't disappoint. Procter & Gamble actually uh, beat earnings. But if a company um, comes close to disappointing or disappoints, expect a massively pa painful reaction um, this season just because everyone is so um, worried about uh, the potential of poor earnings. You could get a big reaction. So be careful around these earnings reports. Let's take a look and see what's going on here in our indexes. First off, we have to take a look at the technicals. And one of the things that I always do is I, like, I try very, very hard to set aside any bias I have in a trade. Obviously, when you're in positions, you are biased. But I try to set that aside and I just want to look at the technicals of the chart and get an idea of what I need to be paying attention to. First off, I can look real quickly here, this line that I've drawn, and see that we've broken through this little downtrend right in here and we're holding above it so far proving that we can hold it as support we've also broken through this level of price resistance and so far proving that we can hold that as support if we take a look at a current trend you can see this nice little trend going up here we're still holding on to current trend and looking pretty good there just a consolidation looking pretty good there 
So personally, I think what the market wants to do, the market wants to start moving up and attacking these highs. They want it so bad they can taste it. They really want those high prints up here. The question now becomes, can earnings provide enough of a lift to get us up there? And that's what we'll have to watch, wait, and see. Right now, Dow futures are trying to push that higher, but uh, we're not getting follow through from the other indexes, at least at the moment, trying to show that bullishness. So you can see this morning, Dow looking to gap up toward this high of a couple of days ago. And that's where we are at the moment. We'll have to wait and see if that turns into a pop and drop or if we actually get follow through buyers to push that up after the open. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY actually in a, in a really good position here. Um, SPY holding up quite well. You can see we're struggling just a little bit with some price resistance right through here. There's that price resistance. We popped through, pulled back, but still we're holding in this trend, everything looking good. And it really isn't going to be that much of a push to come up here to test these all time highs. The question obviously is going to be, can the markets prove to have enough good earnings results to make that occur. I think it would be a, a really, really disappointing to see uh, that not occur. I think they're gonna try really, really hard, pull out everything that they can to reach up there. But just keep in mind, we could see some uh, significant volatility as that continues to, uh, they continue to grind and hold on to this. What's interesting to note, I think, is right now, there's no bearishness in any of these indexes. We can't seem to get the bears at all to inspired to do anything. So everyone appears that they want the market to go higher. Now there's danger in that as well. And that's called complacency. If for example, earnings don't produce what we hope that they will reduce, uh, produce all of that complacency could come out of the market really quick with some fast selling so we'll want to stay on our toes and watch this very very closely when all the market is just pushing for one direction um, that always is a little bit of a concern and we have to be very watchful of that price action. Let's take a look at the cues now the cues did a good job yesterday poking up here powering on up bullish engulfing candle popping through what i've marked here as a price high resistance breaking out now they couldn't hold on very well yesterday drifting back down and this morning it looks like we're going to open you know right about where we close maybe just slightly lower at the moment they're trying to push that up as i speak trying to reach um, a positive print on the dow futures or uh, q futures but as you can see um just right in there right there at that point where we either can break through and hold it as support or we fail as resistance and hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we don't see that failure there. But of course, anything is possible. And the NASDAQ is still very strong. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, here's our problem, child. IWM is certainly much weaker than the market. And IWM has this nasty tendency of leading the market from time to time, either up or down. And you can see IWM is just not impressed uh, like the other indexes are um, in the market. In fact, really, really struggling right here with a price resistance level and actually a lower high uh, placed right here on IWM. So uh, kind of a concern here where IWM is really not participating um, in this move. In fact, um, largely very uninspired um, results here in IWM. Now this morning, um, as I continue to speak, futures continue to push higher, being pumped hard right now by um, the Dow futures. Dow futures now up about 60 points. Um, you can see the influence of the institutions right here. They're just pushing, pushing, pushing really hard to get uh, some inspiration to move this higher. So um, that's going on at the moment. And the um, S&P 500 futures 
have just ticked one point higher in their futures and NASDAQ futures are now up 75 cents. So everything's trying to push in that direction and they're really being driven by that pump that's going on in the Dow futures right now. So let's keep that in mind. And, and right now you can see IWM trying to catch just a little tiny lift here um, at the moment. We'll see if it can actually power on through there. Let's take a look at the VIX real carefully. Um, the VIX yesterday started out showing just a little bit of fear. We rose up here a little bit yesterday on that gap down. But that fear quickly started to drift away as the market rallied back up. And um, just a little bit of... Well, well, pensiveness is is what the the word that I keep com coming up with. Um, the market's waiting on something. It's waiting for inspiration. Can we get the inspiration to move higher or move lower? Who's going to win that battle? And I think it's all about the earnings. And we're just going to have to watch, wait, and see. Now, as you can see, the, the questions that I have is right down here. This is our support level. Obviously, we have a downtrend in play. So there's nothing going on here in the VIX that would really be of uh, major concern, at least at the moment. But we are starting to put in a little bit of a bottoming pattern here on uh, the VIX. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. If we do start to get some of that fear and we start to lift here, uh, that could be very telling for uh, the market. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And if you take a look where we ended the day yesterday, we were at one point down in here. We pushed down on that gap down in the morning. But where we ended the day was dead center in the middle. Now, what does that tell us? Well, not very much. It tells us that we have plenty of opportunity to move higher. Also tell us, tells us we have plenty of opportunity to move lower. Remember the T2122 um, indicator is really the best at telling us when we've reached, you know, reversal zones where we've kind of stretched ourselves a little bit too far. We, we have um, overbought or we have oversold. When we're down here in the middle, all it tells us is we have the potential to go either direction. And once again, I'm going to say it, it's all about the earnings. It, it's only going to depend on how the market reacts to those earnings reports. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. We do have something of concern on our economic calendar today, whether or not um, we'll get much reaction on this. I don't know. If you noticed yesterday, we had um, existing home sales. I mentioned that. And existing home sales actually came in weaker than expected which was disappointing simply because we've had um, interest rates going down and uh, that didn't inspur, spur um, a, a big wave of uh, existing home sales. So that may add a little bit of weight or concern when we wait for the new home sales uh, report coming out at 10 a.m. today. You know, that could really move the market. If we happen to miss on new home sales as well, um, missing on both could definitely uh, move the market a little bit. So we'll want to keep an eye on that at 10 a.m. Eastern today. Um, other than that, there's not much here on the calendar to really move us around. We'll just have to stay focused there and uh, pay attention to what that report might say about um, the health of our economy. Let's take a look um, at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar, by the way, it's something I can't show you um, here. Um, our earnings calendar, we had um, a large number of earnings today, and we still have over 109 companies yet to report. We were about at 180 companies reporting today, and they've been rolling in really, really fast and furiously this morning, um, cranking that out. And as I speak here, guys, the Dow futures are up 56 points. ES is now up. ES futures is up, uh, which is the S&P 500, by the way, is up 1.25. And the NASDAQ futures are also up 1.25 points. So just kind of 
pushing, 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 trying to get that positive print to come here in the market this morning. Um, so as those earnings roll in, we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that. I know uh, one that, uh, let's see, Coke, Coke looks like Coke has reported. Take a look at Coke. Coke got a really nice report. That's going to help the Dow uh, and moving up really nicely. So Coke had a really nice report here, uh, firing up um, higher, looking really, really good here at the moment. Um, on its earnings report. So lots of those earnings rolling in. We're going to have to stay very, very focused on that. And just keep in mind, we've got a lot of earnings coming. We're going to have to be really focused on those as we move forward. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon to make sure that you're notified when I post one of these videos and by the way I post a morning video every single market day um, as well as a bunch of free uh, training um, on the site so please ch uh, check out the videos also do me a favor click that thumbs up button and leave a comment every one of those uh, thumbs up buttons and comments makes a difference in how many uh, uh, whether or not YouTube will show this video to more folks so everyone who does that I truly, truly appreciate it, and it helps me out a lot. Thank you for that. Um, I do appreciate it. Also, please click on that share button and share this video over on Facebook or YouTube or, or I mean, your Twitter feed or wherever you might use social media. Please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at a few charts that are really setting up that could be potential trades to pay attention to. You know, one of the stocks that I kind of looked at yesterday was Shopify. Shopify following through yesterday, a really nice move. If I back this up, I'm going to show you this is all time highs here in Shopify. And we had this beautiful pattern here where we consolidated for a period of time and then breaking through holding it as support and right here was a good buy signal that followed through yesterday uh, shopify a blue uh, um, blue sky highs so we want to watch this for any rest or pullback in this chart for potential trades really good possibilities um, as that moves on up it's looking very strong looking very good let's take a look at um, apple Apple, uh, just full disclosure here, um, uh, I am ho currently holding Apple. Apple is looking very good, showing a lot of strength. And you can see Apple this morning is um, looking like it's going to open about where it closed, but holding a very nice pattern. And all of these little pink lines, if you don't uh, don't know that, if this, this is the first time you've seen this, all of these were price alerts that I've set on the chart. And you can see this beautiful trend. And all I'm doing is is watching this trend and looking for the next entry into those trades and um, we're up nicely in this position right now on Apple and it's looking very very good for more upside kind of keep in mind that every trade that you're in you're going to have to pay attention to that earnings report um, so Keep an eye on those earnings reports. We want to be careful not to chase around earnings reports, but to either be in before or wait for the earnings report to occur and then take a look at that trade um, after the price reaction has occurred. Let's take a look at um, some other trades. Oracle. Whoops. Oracle is a beautiful chart looking great here. You can see we just have this beautiful price pattern here breaking, uh, you know, moving right along in this trend, breaking through price resistance in here and then just continuing to move on up. So we have this beautiful pattern here where we move up, pull back. Buyers are stepping in right in here. We have uh, kind of a buy signal right in here, very close to trend. Oracle looking good. And let's keep in mind that Oracle doesn't report until um, 618. So there's plenty of time uh, for upside potential in this. And as you can see, this is a big breakout in Oracle and pulling this back. This is a really important um, uh, breakout. And so that could certainly send us higher here. So Oracle looking very, very good. Take a look at Cisco. I mentioned Cisco, I believe, yesterday. 
Um, Cisco still looking good, even, although it's pulling back a little bit, a little bit of pullback. Um, and it's testing a all-time, not all-time high, but testing a major resistance high. Clear back here in 2000, in 2000, um, uh, 1999 and 2000, those all-time highs back there. And we're pushing up here toward uh, these resistance levels. So keep an eye on that. And as we pull back, let's wait and see if we can catch some buyers maybe picking this up right in here, holding this price support uh, for an opportunity for a trade so really good looking charts in a lot of different places we have to stay pretty focused on those and watch those carefully but those buyers are really holding up well here's another one that's kind of interesting wwe after breaking through up here you can see we tested this high pop through it and now we're pulling back so the pullback is starting to you know, um, kind of die on the vine here a little bit. Notice we're getting some doji type price action right in here. If we can catch some price support anywhere above right in here, we want to look for that price action or that bullish signal maybe that can push us back higher and really maintain what's going on here in this trend. So keep an eye on that. Whether that can occur or not, I don't know, but WWE is one to pay attention to possibly um, as we move uh, move higher. Really good charts in a lot of different places. GIS, GIS, nice little tight consolidation over to trend. It's waiting for some kind of inspiration to move either higher or lower. Um, one to pay attention to. MDLZ is also one of those consumer defensive stock. Um, also kind of consolidating right here, moving over toward its trend. Needing a little inspiration, but something to pay attention to and watch. Last but not least, I'm going to mention A. AMD. AMD is a trade that I am already in. As a matter of fact, I am up in this trade uh, 60% um, right now. And as you can see, AMD uh, pulling has pulled back and is consolidating over toward its trend. Buyers may be trying to sneak in here, come on up into this chart. So keep an eye on AMD. And by the way, I'm trading this based on a longer term hold um, on a weekly chart. And uh, even that is a very beautiful, uh, beautiful chart. So as this consolidates and moves over toward its trend, let's watch and see if buyers can pick that up. And keep in mind, this is going to report earnings on 430 as well. And um, oftentimes we see stocks rally just slightly toward earnings. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. If you're struggling as a trader, please dig in and study, study, study really hard. Don't give up on yourself. Work really hard on your trading. If there's something we can do to help, um, please watch the videos. Um, there's lots of free trading on things that you can do to help improve your trading by being more of a price action reader rather than chasing around and, and um, overdoing it with indicators. Everyone take care of yourself. Have an awesome, awesome day. We'll talk to you very soon, bright and early on Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.